Hello peoples, welcome back to another episode of Terraria 1.3 in expert mode. Uh, what do I want to do today? Well, all the things, but I don't have that kind of time. However, I can start by showing you this fancy new stuff I got, you know, for a while. I found a lucky horseshoe on the third floating island, the one past the one with the lake on it. I can combine this with, uh, something or other. Wyatt, tell me again, what do I do with this lucky horseshoe besides increase my luck? Or believe that I feel lucky? Wow, I can combine it with all these balloon things. Oh, and I have these balloon things. Immunity to fire blocks with the obsidian skull. Uh, basically adds negate negation of fall damage to any of these things. Now, I mm, wonder which one I want. And none of these can be crafted into anything further. You know what? I think it will go well with my blizzard in a balloon. Let's do that quickly here. That and that white horseshoe balloon. Double jump, jump height, and fall damage. Plus 1% melee speed. Oh well. Okay, jump. Increased jump height, double jump, a blizzard double jump, and rocket boots, and negate fall damage. <laughs> yes, wonderful. Let's do it again. Splat. Alright, that's going to save me a lot. Now, there was another thing I was just about to do. Let me see. Oh yeah, new stuff back here. I got this golden bug net as a reward from a fishing quest from the angler. I haven't looked into it at all. Uh, I can only assume that when I catch something, it becomes gold. Or, if anything, it's just, well, it's just a visual thing, a color. So I'm gonna see if I can find some birds. Oh, there's a grasshopper. It's a green one, so I caught it. And doesn't do anything much, really. It's the same kind of grasshopper you usually see. Next is ginger beard. It is what it says it is. You stick this in the uh, vanity slot of an accessory and your character will appear to have a ginger beard only if you have chosen not to display a helmet. Ta-da! That goes there, goes there. That might be fun for, well, I don't know, a number of things. What else? Angler earring. This, this goes with a lot of other angler items I've gotten. I think I'll do a fishing episode one day. Show you all the stuff I've gotten. Sextant. I just got this. Apparently show it displays the phase of the moon. Uh, waxing crescent. So... Oh, and there's a little icon there. Not sure what Waxing Crescent is. But if this icon changes with the phase of the moon, then it's mostly revealed and going to be more revealed next night. Uh, last thing, this wedding dress I got from a unique zombie during the night called The Bride. And if you... <laughs> well, those of you familiar with the Princess Bride movie, They've added a quote to this. Mowage. Wow. Two wow. Ah, yes. Good movie. Okay. What else? Let's see. Let's see. Oh, yes. Well, I've gotten a lot of NPCs. And I haven't really introduced myself to a couple of the newer ones. Goldfish. Ah, it's gold. Yeah, yeah. no, not really more. Oh, I just killed that dirt block. Sorry. Wait a minute. Whoa, this thing is huge. <laughs> it swings fast. This is the regular one. Wow, okay. <laughs> I don't know how I missed that. Okay, let's put this dirt block back. Now, oh, who do we have to introduce ourselves to? The witch doctor? Nope. The angler? Well, I can show you what he does. I've already turned in his quest. Actually, Smedor. 
What do you sell? I've seen this, but you know, I haven't shown you guys the reforge thing. Reforge is kind of like crafting with a guide. Gives you an item slot and an item to stick into it. So for me, I'm going to stick my new white horseshoe balloon inside and try to reforge it into something more appropriate for me. So what this does is changes the first uh, wording on an item to be something else and then you'll get a different kind of added effect. Let's see what I get. Plus 3 damage. 3% 3 damage. I'll take it. Much better than 1% movement speed. And I guess Pearl is the only other last one. Pearl is a stylist. You can change your hair style and I think color at her. At her. Thanks to her services. Hello Pearl. Rainy day isn't it? Kind of strange. You know given that this is a desert and all. And you know even stranger this little pit has very little water in it. Oh well. So I want to ask you what I can buy. Oh, you know what? That's weird. This, she has told me she has sold a lot more items the first time I checked. So anyways, these items, they change the color of your hair depending on certain conditions. Depth hair dye changes your hair color from, it looks like green, brown, gray, based on where you are in the underground. Life hair dye changes based on your health and mana hair dye for mana. I guess she probably sells the other stuff certain times a day because that's also true for other NPCs and certain other items. What about hairstyle? Ooh, looky. I wonder how many are in here. Uh, that's about 125 different styles, wow. Okay, now that is all the NPCs. Now let me see how much time I got left and figure out something else to do to fill the time with. Bang 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 bang. Nope, not done yet. <laughs> Alright, let's find something else. So sextant can be combined with the fisherman's pocket guide, which I already have, and a weather radio to make fish finder, which is apparently material for another thing. I wonder how I get this. M maybe since it's fishing related. Uh, from a quest from Bobby. So I was thinking about the storage room I just made. What about it? Well, it's mostly gray and oh yeah, these platforms, they are granite platforms painted gray. They look really sleek and metallic in case you want something that looks like fancy metal like rail type stuff. So I was thinking that because the background is stone brick wall, it blends in too well with the platforms, so I need a different background. And I figure, since I haven't tried them out yet, maybe see what the wallpapers can do. And you know what, just because there's only one color of wallpaper to choose from doesn't mean I can't paint them. Oh, one thing though, it's really hard to paint dark items. It's like they won't accept paint. I'll just pick one up here to make sure it's paint so I'll pick up a bunch of green there now we're ready let's try some out I'll put this one fancy gray wallpaper in I guess bottom left quadrant okay it looks like a bunch of little tiles that creates a larger pattern when put together and can I color this oh Right. <laughs> the paintbrush is for block items. The paint roller is for background items and wallpapers. Duh. Okay, let's see. Oh, there's barely a change. Yeah, you can see the left side is a tiny bit more green than the right. It's hard to see. I wonder if the map will say. Yeah, there it is. The map even shows. Uh, okay, let's try the next wallpaper. I know black will show at all. Okay. How many blocks wide is that one? Five, two, three, four, five. Oh wow, it looks like actual space. Like there's a space hole behind the wall. Okay, uh, that is pretty cool looking. Those paints even work on it. 
Does it even paint the little stars? Two, three, four, two, three, four. Oh jeez, and you can barely tell from here. Like if you look really close, you can tell the left side is green and the right side is black. But when you're actually in front of it, you don't really see a difference. Now thankfully we have actual colored wallpaper with which to experiment that will probably show some color change when you use paint on it. This is called ice flow wallpaper. Looks like a ice block, something you would use underground in ice caves. Oh wow, very glowy. It looks really, I guess, bioluminescent. No, not bioluminescent. That's for like organisms. Radioactive or super dangerous. Neon green. Hey, I wonder if the other colors turn neon. What's a good neon color? Orange, pink. Let's try pink. Now, I was going to grab some from the chest, but then I remembered I only have one paint of each kind in there. Each kind. Shop. Pink. Give me a bunch. I don't care. That's not really an accurate measurement of something, like a dozen or, uh, you know, whatever fancy terms people use. So, pink looks like this. Okay, that's nice. Colors do come out a lot brighter. So what if I use it on something else, like... Uh, da, 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 da. Trying to figure out something that I want to remove and put back. Uh, this piece of... well, one of these pieces of wood. Right there. Oh, right, background. Yeah, you can barely tell on this, because it's dark already. So depending on the type of block you use it on, it'll look, you know, a different kind of brightness or a different kind of effect. Okay, so this actually is a pretty good candidate, but it's probably too bright and kind of clashes with the actual outer physical walls. Uh, last wallpaper I took with me, no, it wasn't this, it was a sparkle stone wallpaper. Now if it actually sparkles, that would, pretty, that would be pretty awesome. It's kind of dull, like it needs a torch to light up. That's it. Looks kind of like a actual granite. And what if I paint it with pink? Okay, it actually does show. And what about green? Let's put it here instead for a change. That's not bad. It's kind of like a sparkly stone, which is actually what it is. Sparkly stone wallpaper. Hmm. Maybe white? I'm thinking maybe a neutral color would work best. I have some white. See what happens. Sparkle stone in white looks like this. Not bad. Well, it's too bad about the other wallpapers. Barely any change, no change. Still, I could play with the rest of them, and might even decorate the rest of the house or some other buildings. Alright then, well this has been episode 34 of Terraria 1.3. If you like this video, leave a like, or if you want to follow along with the series, uh, or anything else on my channel, you can subscribe as well. Okay, till next time, be swell, stay well, and farewell.